Sit with your legs crossed. Adjust the body and feel balanced in terms of length, space, and weight. Close the eyes for a moment. Sit nice and tall. Then start to tune your attention to every sensation within the body. Being aware of these internal sensations gives you the opportunity to relax not just the body but the mind as well. Stay there for a few deep breaths. Inhale and extend the arms out and up, slowly over the head. Exhale, lower it down beside the hip. Again, inhale, raise the arms upward to stretch your side body and spine. Then exhale, lower down to relax. Now raise the arms up, then bend the left arm. Now you hold the elbow and gently pull it down to the right. Go back to the center, arms overhead, then bend your left arm, pull it down to your left. Now release. Interlace the fingers behind the hip. Gently squeeze your shoulder blades in to broaden your chest. Then extend your arms up and back as you fold forward. As you stay on the fold, keep your abdominal muscles soft and let it follow the movement of your breath. Inhale to calm up, exhale to release the arms. Extend the right leg forward, then step the left foot next to the other side of the right thigh. Continue pulling the knee with the right hand as the left hand pushes the floor behind the hip to lengthen the spine. Go with the breath. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Then exhale to twist deeper by pulling the knee and activating the muscles of the knee back. Now if you are more mobile on your spine and shoulders, then put the elbow against the left thigh to add more range of motion. Now release and take the left foot by the hip, putting your thigh over the other. Adjust the hip bone so you can lengthen your torso. On your inhale, raise the arms overhead, then exhale, you bend forward. As you fold, notice if you don't feel any stretch at all, then readjust the hip so you can bend forward. Touching the head on the sheet is an option, not a goal. Inhale, rise and reach the arms over the head, then exhale, bring the hands down. Now you take your left foot, press it against the inner right thigh. Sit straight, then turn the body leftward. Hold the left knee with the right hand and continue extending the left arm over the head as you gently fold over the right leg. For those who could reach their foot, go ahead, as long as there is not too much happening on the toes that makes you hold the breath. Now slowly come up and take the left hand on the floor next to the hip. Press it down and lift the hip forward and up. Extend the right arm over the head. At the same time, press the right foot down to the floor to create more stretch. Stay for a few breaths. Release and sit back to the floor and extend the left leg as you bend the right. Step the right foot outside the thigh. Pull the right knee with your left hand 
and press the right hand down to the floor. Inhale to create space and lengthen the body. Then exhale, twist backward by pulling the knee and activating the waist and back muscles. Another option is to take the elbow and press it against the leg. Place the right leg over the left side and pull the foot closer to the knee. Inhale, raise the arms up one, then exhale, you bend forward. Continue making some adjustments and let you feel the body needs. Inhale, go back up, and exhale, hands down. Drop the knee sideways and take the foot close to the hip. Turn the upper body to the right side and take the right knee with your left hand. Inhale and extend the right arm up, then exhale, bend sideways over the left leg. After a few breaths, come up and place the right hand behind the hip. Press it on the floor while you lift the hip as much as you can. Then stretch the left arm backward. Activate the navel, back, glutes, and shoulders. Release and extend the legs forward. Sit straight and tall, then extend the arms upward and bend forward. Do some adjustment on the pelvis if you want to bend lower. Inhale, lift the chest and arms up. Exhale, hands down. Now go to all fours, then extend the right leg sideways and come up to the gate pose. Now go to all fours, then extend the right leg sideways and come up to the gate pose. Straighten the back and raise the arms alongside the head and bend laterally to the right side, sliding the hand down to the foot. Continue extending the left arm over the head. Return to the center and then bend to the left as you set the left palm on the floor below the shoulders. Extend the right arm away from the hips while trying to turn the right side body up. Again, come up and straighten the arms up and then down. Now you bend the right leg outward and push the hip sideways to stretch. Easier option is to rest the forearm on the thigh. But for more flexible, take the palm on the floor. Keep the chest and the hips open by flexing the glutes and the back muscles. Return to the center line and take the palms forward below the shoulders and extend the right arm up to a twist. And take the palms forward below the shoulders and extend the right arm up to a twist. Now as you exhale, thread the right arm underneath the body, twisting to the right. Rest the weight on the right shoulder and not on the neck. Then extend the left arm forward to stretch the side body more. Keep the navel in. 
the right leg and the left arm are actively supporting the entire body weight. Release by pushing the left palm down next to the head and pulling the other arm upward and down to the floor. Fold the right leg then straighten the left leg. Same goes here. As you extend the arms up, then bend sideways, gliding the left palm down to the leg and extending the other arm over the head. Rise up to the midline, then bend to the other side. Set the palm on the floor below the shoulder and stretch the other one over the head. And now come up and bend the left leg out. So you know your option here already palm on the floor or if you are a little tight on the hip, the forearm on the thigh would be the better option. Walk the palms forward like the old fours, then reach the left hand up, and upon your exhale, twist to the other side and thread it under your torso. Extend the right palm over the head and press against the floor along with the left foot to support your weight. After a few breaths, come up and rest to your child pose. Take your seat bones on your heels and let your chest fall between your thighs and take a rest. After a few breaths of the child pose, come up and go to all fours. Now inhale and extend the right leg back and on. Then exhale, bring the knee forward and step the foot between the palms. Push the hips downward and try to extend and broaden the chest. Come up and raise the arms over the head and gently bend backward. Feel that you are not putting too much compression on the lower back. Release the palms on the floor and pull the hips backward to straighten your right leg. You can just look forward and extend the spine or bend over the right leg. Never mind how far the body can bend as long as you are feeling some stretch on your leg muscles. Now move the hip back and down beside the left foot. In case you have some ankle or knee concern, then sitting on the pillow or block would be a better alternative. Fix your hip and try to see it straight then slowly bend forward. Remember to focus on the hip hinge so you can bend lower without stressing the lower spine. As you stay in the fold, keep your belly relaxed and moving, not stiff or tight. Now come up and bring the left knee out, perpendicular to your right leg. Take the left hand behind the hip and hold the left knee with the right hand.
sit straight and take an inhale, raise the left arm up, and exhale, bend sideways over the right leg. Others can touch their toes, some can just extend the arm over the head. Whichever option you have, you will feel the same stretch as long as there is some effort on the pose. Raise the arms again over the head, then turn the body 45 degrees to the right and bend between the thighs. Continue bending forward, but the moment you feel pain on the left knee and inner side of the right knee, you better calm up a little bit. Focus on rotating the pelvis forward and extending the sides of the body equally. Straighten the body upright and fold the right leg on top of the left side. In case you cannot do this one, just put the foot down next to your hip. Hold the right knee with the left hand and take the other arm around the waist and see if you can grab hold of the foot. Try to completely rotate the body to the right and then turn the head to the left while you keep your spine straight and long. Now straighten the right leg forward and go to a runner's lunge. Move the back foot one step forward and straighten both legs. You can look ahead and keep the spine parallel to the floor or bend over the leg. Now go back to runner's lunge and step backward to plank to lower the chest on the floor. Fold the right leg and hold the foot with your right arm. Extend the left arm forward, then slowly as you inhale, activate the back and the shoulder muscles to lift the chest then engage the glutes and hamstrings to lift the legs. Don't go too high that you feel discomfort on the lower spine. Exhale as you release the pose. Set the palms by the chest and push yourself up and back to child pose so you can relax the body. If you feel ready, return to all fours and then inhale as you lift and extend the left leg. Exhale. Bring it in to your chest. Step the foot forward and press the hip down. Open the chest and then press the hands upon the left knee. You can just stay here or raise the arms over the head and do a back bend. If you begin to notice any tension on the neck and shoulders, just bring the arms in front of the head. Bring the palms back to the top of the mat, then pull the hip backward until the left leg extends. 
Again, bending forward just to deepen the stretch is just an option. Now slowly sit on the floor next to your right foot. Do some necessary adjustment on the hips, then straighten the back and gently bend forward. Observe the gentle and slow movement of the breath within the body. Now come up and turn the right leg out, right hand behind the hip, left hand pulling the right knee and try to stay upright. Take the right arm up and bend over the left leg. Again, holding the toe is not the end goal. Now come up and straighten the arms overhead and bend between the legs. Avoid too much pressure on the knees and back. As you come up, bend the left leg on top or beside the right side. Hold the left knee with the right arm and the other hand around the waist. Your torso is rotating to the left and the head to the right. Move forward and then straighten both legs, hands, and the spine. Stay as you are or bend closer to your front leg. Release and go forward to your runner's lunge and then step backward to plank and slowly lower yourself on the floor. You bend the left leg and catch the foot with the left hand while the other hand extends forward. Inhale as you contract the back, shoulders, glutes and hamstrings to lift you up. Stay and breathe for a moment. Again, let go of your pose and then put your hands beside the chest and find your way back to your child pose. Pause and let your whole body fully relax.
After a few deep breaths, come up and extend the legs forward. And extend the arms alongside the head and as you exhale, you fold forward from your head. Hold the shins, toes, or simply let your hands fall beside your feet. What is important is you feel your hamstrings. Slowly raise the chest up, then lean backward. As you take the feet close to your hip, you squeeze your shoulders to bring the chest up, then flex your buttons to lift the hip forward and up to stretch the inner thighs. As you release the pose, you extend the legs as far apart as you can. Straighten the back by rotating the pelvis forward. Now hold your left foot and then extend the right arm over the head, keeping the chest open. Same thing with the other side. Take the foot and reach the left arm over the head to stretch the left side body. Next, you hold your feet and see if you can pull yourself down between the legs. Move down carefully without hurting the side knees. Even if you don't fold forward, if you can increase the forward rotation of the hip, you will increase the stretch. Bring the body upright and fold the legs, taking the soles of the feet together. Once again, hold the toes, flex the glutes and straighten the back. And slowly bend forward. If you feel too much, then relax the glutes or back off a little bit. Breathe normally on the bones without flexing the abdominal muscles. Release the pose and take the palms behind the heel while you open the feet apart and windshield wiper the knees to rid of tension on the hip joints. Straighten the legs forward and lie down for a moment.
Bend the legs close to your hip. Lift the hip and fully extend the spine without feeling heavy on your neck. Another option is to take the palms together below the hips and squeeze the shoulder muscles inward to bring more opening and stretch on the chest. Just release the hip on the floor, keep the feet apart, and take the knees together. Give time for the shoulders and hip to relax. For the second round, you lift the hip as high as you can, then put the palms underneath to support it. For the final pose, you can slide the feet forward until you extend the knees, but it should not hurt your lower back. To release the pose, take the feet backward and the hands on the floor, then lower the hip down. For a moment, keep the knees together, feet apart, before extending the legs forward. Inhale and extend the arms over the head with the feet together. Exhale and pull the right knee down on the belly. Take few deep breaths to lengthen the spine. Now straighten the right leg up and see if you can hold the foot, keeping the leg straight. If not, holding the back of the shield is also a good option. Keep both legs straight and firm. Take the left hand and pull the left hip down as the right arm pulls the right leg to the side. In case this pose is too much, micro bend the right leg. Continue pushing down through the left foot. Now bring the knee back to the chest and release. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, pull the left knee toward the body. Keep the pose for a moment. Now extend the left leg upward. Either you hold the foot or the back of the shin. Then slowly pull the leg closer to the floor. Bring the left leg down on the side and press the right hand on the hip to keep it grounded to maintain the stretch. Release and bring the knee down to the chest and forward to the floor.
Let us stretch both legs. Inhale, arms up. Then exhale, hug the knees. Hold the big toes and try to extend the knees. If it's hard for the legs, then hold the back of the shins. Slowly pull the thighs closer to the chest without lifting the hip. Hug the knees again to the chest, then extend forward. Bend the knees and take the right foot over the left on a figure four stretch. Pull the left thigh down to feel the right hip. Now take the thighs together, same leg on top, or pull the feet out and down for additional stretch on the heel. Release and extend the legs forward. Same as the other side, figure for the left leg and pull it down to the chest, creating stretch on the left hip. Bring the thighs together and pull the feet apart, putting more stretch on the glutes and back. Release and extend the legs forward. Now happy baby pose. Hold the big toes or the edges of your feet and then take the legs beside the waist. Pull it down to release the back. Option to move slowly side to side. Have the soles of your feet together in front of the hip. Let the knees fall apart. Take the left palm on the belly and the right palm on the chest. Stay and observe the rise and the fall of the chest and abdomen. Relax the shoulders and begin to slow down the breath.
slowly straighten the legs forward and apart, about hip distance or a little wider. Let your arms fall alongside the hips. Let the shoulders, neck and back, fully relaxed. Allow any tension on the hip, legs and feet to move away. Only through the breath that the mind and body can fully relax. However, your thoughts would determine how you would feel as well. Notice and observe how the breath goes in and out slowly within the body to keep your mind still. Imagine that every breath you take is a step closer towards complete state of relaxation. Now you allow your breath to be your guide. Be still and take a rest.